get here and somebody give a weapon to come. That nigga ain't got no ride. Now, I'm telling you, honey, a nigga just don't want to come to work because it's been three days. That nigga could have started walking yesterday and been here today if he really wanted to be at work today. But anyway, he's sitting around, say, waiting on his mama. See, that's what I be telling people. Everybody be hollering, you not going, baby, listen. I don't have a car right now, and anywhere I go, I know I'm going to have to walk because you can't depend on no nigga to pick you up when you ain't got no ride. So anywhere that I don't think I'll be able to walk to, I just say, I pay. <laughs> But, you know, we niggas with no cars, we sit around and think we have cars when we have friends in our lives with cars and think they're going to come and pick us up. Not why gas is high, honey. Gas is too high. Anybody coming to pick you up? But anyway, welcome to ATL Girl Talk right here on FMDigitalLive.com. This is your girl, Miss Sophia. You know, keeping up mess as usual, honey. That's my name. Stirring up shit. I mean mess. Keeping up mess. Keeping up mess. But anyway, we're going to have a good time today. You know, we made it, her. Yes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, we hear Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, baby. And I, oh, Lord. I didn't think she was going to make it, but my New Year's resolution. <laughs> my New Year's resolution way back in uh, November of last year was to be on time for work and to be prepared for work. Hello. So I've been on time every day this week, and I've been prepared every day this week. Oh, I'm so happy for myself. Pat my own self on the back. Oh, you did that, bitch. <laughs> but anyway, I want to give a shout-out to Mary J. Blige. You know, Mary J. Blige, she is on the cover of L.A. Confidential. It's a nice magazine up in L.A. And she is really candid about, you know, her little life and what she's been through in her little career. You know, I keep saying her little career, but, you know, she had a big career. But, you know, all the stuff that she's been through, and she's real open about it. We all know she was on drugs. We all know she kicked her husband's ass and all that. But there are certain things that we don't know. The details! So, in this article, she speaks about her drug usage. She talks about how she used to snort cocaine. Oh, my God. I thought Mary was just doing weed and drinking, bitch. You splurging like that, Mary. Go on, Mary. But anyway, she talks about her cocaine addiction, and she talked about how Whitney, Whitney Houston's death affected her, and she also talked about, you know, being molested at five years old. Now, I knew she was molested, but I didn't know it was she was that young. She said she was five years old when she was molested, and she said there's a certain lotion there's a certain lotion that reminds her of the molestation when she smells this lotion, you know, that scent of that lotion. I wonder what it was, Jergens? Because, <laughs> you know, that's the only lotion black people knew back then, Jergens lotion, baby. But anyway, go and pick up this uh, magazine, L.A. Confidential, and check out the article on Mary J. Blige, the queen of hip-hop. She look good on here now. Now, I'm telling you, she looks good on the cover. Mary, she always have been photogenic. But, you know, and, that, and I think, you know, she got herself, you know, she got herself cleaned up because, you know, that's probably why, you know, her voice didn't got better. I was thinking she had some vocal training and shit. But maybe Mary just stopped doing them drugs and she started hearing herself. She's like, well, goddamn, how I been making money and my voice sound like this? So she done got herself together, got off them drugs and discovered her voice. You go, Mary J. Blige. Yes. She know the 411 now. You do it, girl. Look at her. She look good. She look good. But in Anyway, speaking of looking good, I got to give a shout out to my girl. Got to give a shout out to my girl, Cat Williams. <laughs> Cat Williams is arrested. He's gone back to jail. Oh, my God. Cat Williams, can you get your ass somewhere and sit down? Cat Williams is whooping folk when they go to his concert. You know, he's doing stand-up and he's on tour and everything. He's whooping folks with the microphone for taking pictures of him and videotaping the show and all that. No, Cat Williams been tripping lately. I don't know who was spending their hard-earned money to go see him, honey. It's, he's subject not to show up. But anyway, he didn't show up for his court appearance yesterday, and the judge issued a bitch warrant for his bitch ass, and the police in L.A. knew that he was wanted, and they just went to his house and arrested him. Yeah, honey, I thought y'all said Cat Williams was homeless. Now nah, he got a house, honey. He may be crazy, but he still got little sense, honey. But they went to his house, and they arrested him, honey, because he failed, failed to appear and all that shit, the judge it should have been drawn for him. Bless his heart. But some going, you know, some going on with him because Cat Williams used to always have his hair fixed. Look at his hair. <laughs> Look at his hair. It looked like he got a beginner's jerry 
curl, honey. Yes, he's trying to cover it up with that cap, honey. But Cat William, get yourself together. You're too talented. You're so talented and so funny. Get yourself together, nigga. All that bullshit. Cut it out. Cut it out. I see you got on one of them old Steve Harvey suits. <laughs> Pin stripes on. Ooh, this <laughs> look like celebrity rehab, and he need a makeover and everything. Oh my God, Cat we don't look like nobody celebrity. Oh well, I guess you say they just human, just like everybody else. Hello. Now we got to give a shout out to Beyonce. You know Beyonce, she is that girl. You know, and a lot of people, you know, since Kim Kardashian announced that she's pregnant and everything, everybody say Blue Ivy, baby Blue Ivy, honey, gonna have to take a back seat to Kim and Kanye's baby. But anyway, Beyonce keep getting things popping. As you all know, she's getting ready for her halftime performance at the Super Bowl. And if you want to be a part of the halftime, you know, celebration with Beyonce, she's doing this contest where she's inviting fifty of her uh, biggest fans to join her on stage. And I think you go to pepsi.com. I, I think today or tomorrow is the deadline or the 11th is the deadline for you to enter the contest. But it's going to be 50. She's going to select 50 of her favorite fans to come on stage with her during halftime. And the people that she select, you will be able to bring one of your friends. So it will be a hundred, you know, of her you know, big Ooh, fans. Oh, child, Ooh. look who the shout out. Look who the shout out. Oh, my God. Oh, I was just talking about you. Oh, but anyway, yeah. oh. don't sit down. No, that's for later. I ain't, I ain't, oh. I ain't talking about that yet. But anyway, uh, Pampas here. Hey, Pampas! My name is Jason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, going back to this Beyonce story. Beyonce... You know, she uh she has another 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 uh, star to put by her name. You know, she was the one who serenaded Barack Obama, President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama back in 2009 at one of the official balls, you know, the neighborhood ball to be exact, when they did the first inauguration for President Barack Obama. How about Beyonce? She is invited back to the inauguration ceremony the 21st of this month, and she will be singing the national anthem. Go ahead, I'll oh, be outside. Be outside. Baby, everybody thought Brandy and uh, Kelly Rowland and Rihanna and all these other girls, they was going to come come to the forefront, you know, when Beyonce had her baby and she was off for the year and everything. They thought it was going to be all about Nicki Minaj, baby. Woo! Beyonce, woo! Beyonce spit that baby out, honey, and she done came back. She done spit that baby out and came back, and she's still on top, right back on top where she was before she left. Congratulations, Beyonce. She's going to be singing the national anthem at the uh, inauguration also. That's going to take place on the 21st, and that is also another that is another we're gonna be celebrating the anniversary of something i want somebody in the chat room to tell me what anniversary will we be celebrating the same day that president barack obama will be inaugurated for his second term as the united states president also you know he's really gonna be sworn in on that monday i mean he's gonna be sworn in that sunday because it falls on a sunday you know the president's supposed to be uh, sworn in on the 20th, January 20th, but since the 20th falls on the Sunday, he's going to be sworn in that Sunday, but he's going to be sworn in uh, again that Monday, but it's just going to be, you know, for y'all out there at the inauguration. He's going to already be the, got sworn in the day before, but anyway, yeah! Also, Kelly Clarkson, she's going to be performing there. She's going to do My Country Tears of Thee. Now, as you all remember, last time it was Aretha Franklin that sung My Country Tears of Thee. And Aretha Franklin and her hat, her hat that caused so much controversy because Aretha Franklin, you know, people didn't know, she didn't know that that hat was going to be, you know, everybody was going to want that hat. So the person who designed the hat, honey, his sales skyrocketed and everything. Then Aretha, Aretha Franklin, she ended up donating the hat. They donated the hat. Yeah, honey. Yo, you can go and see it. You can go see Riri's hat, honey. It's in the Smithsonian, the one she wore at the inauguration. My country. Tea. I was there, honey. I remember. Oh, I was there, that baby. That was big as she was. <laughs> I was there, for real. I was there, honey. We had a great time. It was so much fun. If you've never been to a presidential inauguration, you should try to go to one, even if your, your uh, president don't win. But I was glad year. to be there. That was the first African-American to be sworn in. 
in and I was there and just the whole procedure, what you have to go through just to get there. It is just amazing. It's amazing. Yes, it is. And I'll tell y'all more about that as we get closer to the inauguration. Okay. Yes, baby. And also James Taylor, he's going to be singing America the Beautiful. So there you have it. That's your, that's your inauguration update. But anyway, hey, Papa. My name is Jason. I know your name is Jason. That's what your mama called you. That's what your mama, your mama named you. But we call you Pampers. And I introduced you to the, our listeners as Pampers. So from here they on They know out, my name. What's going on? Pam what's going on? You be Pampers. No. Oh, you tell us what's going on. Because, uh. Ooh, I, just ran, I just ran here from New York. You just, nah. Yeah, I, just, I, got, I, got off the, I just got off the, I just got off the bus and walked. It was, I was going to get here quicker. <laughs> Cause I told him you said you was on the express bus. Yeah, I, and it took okay. nineteen and a half hours. See this, see this, what happened? <laughs> Picture it, Sicily, nineteen thirty-two. Yeah. I, my companion pass. I got a companion pass on on this airline, and it was supposed to kick in on the first. Kick in on the first. So you know, this a nigga companion companion pass that got a kick in. So yeah. So <laughs> I went up to New York. I got me a one way up there because I said, shit, ain't no sense in mine no. Two way, I'm finna be back, come back after the first. My party pass gonna kick in. My campaign pass gonna yeah, kick in. Yeah, see, first. you know that's a nigga trying to make a reservation because he say buying a two way. White folks, they do round trips. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't afford a round trip. I just gotta do two different ways. <laughs> so, came the first. It was a holiday, so I said, oh, I wasn't thinking that folks ain't in the office, so it ain't gonna kick in to the second. Mm -hmm, kicking in. The white the, folks, they us activate. <laughs> yeah, the second was on the, I'm a diff, cause, so I turn around and call the person who campaign pass I'm on, and they say, well, it ain't, it's going to be working by Thursday. It's more nigga shit. So Thursday came, it wasn't working. Then there was some other issues I'm going to have to tell you off air because it concerned my mama, and you already know how that might have worked. Well, I'll tell y'all, when he tell me, you know I share this with my family. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, you know. So then I say, you know, fuck it, I got to get back. The show's going to start back. <laughs> So I, I get ready to get on the bus on Saturday. I found the Chinese bus. Now, the Chinese bus <laughs> in New York, if y'all don't know, it leave from Chinatown, and it's not like Greyhound. It ain't got no rest stops. It got maybe one stop in, in Virginia and one stop in Delaware. Then it come on through. So that bus only 14 hours. 14 hours, the Chinese bus. The Chinese bus. And it's $89. $89. Right. Lead the driver to us for $89. So I was going to get on for, at, at, on Saturday, but I... Just like a black person, I waited too late. The bus was sold out. <laughs> hold on, hold on, Herb. I get to laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> so then, okay. So I said, well, let me go ahead and book it. Book, book, uh, book the bus on Sunday before I get sold out. He booked the bus, so you know this some nigga shit. Cause white folks just go buy a bus ticket. <laughs> Got up Sunday morning. They sold out too. <laughs> But I got to get on the bus because Sophia said we're going to start the show back Monday. I got to be back on Monday. <laughs> but you knew we were starting the show back on Monday before you left. I told you that before you left when we was coming back. But I thought it was going to be that Wednesday. I thought it was going to be last week Wednesday he was going to start. So well, I even I if we I started I Wednesday, your ass still wasn't back. I knew I was going to make it back for that, so I knew I was going to try to make it back for Monday. Mm -hmm. So then I, I call a friend, can you help me get a Greyhound ticket? Whew, I look at Greyhound, and Greyhound is 168. But it's it says one day, in in forty five minutes to get back from Greg. From one day and forty five minutes for one sixty eight. Then they had another ticket, that's twenty four hours and thirty minutes. Now I don't know what's the difference between one day and forty five minutes and twenty four hours and thirty minutes. <laughs> Cause the, but they got it listed like that on the thing. <laughs> Cause the the, uh, the the latter one that that costs more. They no, it's one sixty eight for both of them. Oh, but no, but it gets you here. So quicker. then I scrolled. No, I don't. Yes, it does. Twenty-five. One oh, it gets you here forty-five minutes. I mean, fifteen minutes quicker. Yeah. So what's but, what, but why not just say both of them twenty-four hours or both of them one day? They twenty-four hours or one day mean the same damn thing. So whoever run the grass site retarded anyway. Well, they knew who they was dealing with. So I, so I scroll down. Now I already dread getting on this bus. I scroll down a little bit further and I see, oh, they got the express bus. That'll fuck them up. The express bus is nineteen hours and thirty minutes. <laughs> you know how much that was? How much? 168 too. But look, see that? But you don't know your power. Because see, Love My Life is in the chat room. She say, LOL, you should have called me. I would have given you a bus, a buddy pass, or why not, a mega bus for $1. 
You know, love my life. She runs way hard down there in Dallas. Oh, yeah, see, but let me tell you how the mega bus will, <laughs> will fuck you up. <laughs> I tried to book the mega bus before the Chinese bus because mm -hmm. they were uncomfortable. The mega bus is a dollar, but you can't book it straight through to Atlanta. They'll set you up. You got to book it one way from Atlanta to D.C. You got to book from D.C. to Charlotte, from Charlotte to Atlanta. And you got layovers and switch buses in between each one. But that, you should have called Love My Life. See, if you called Love My Life, you wouldn't have to go through all that booking shit. Love she, my you life. just call her and tell her what you need. Stop and playing. She you knew go, I was stuck She in. up there with the computer. She just go on and put your stuff in. And she'll call you and give you a confirmation number. Don't, See that Love My Life? You can't tell. Me, you can't work with niggas. You can't work with niggas Love My Life because they think they got everything going. Well, I'm, listen, I'm sitting here listening to the story. Please don't, but piss, before we continue please don't the story, piss me off after I done took this long ass bus ride. Before we continue the story, I just want to say, you are absolutely right, honey boo boo. I asked what was the anniversary we'd be celebrating when Barack Obama sworn in for the second term. It is, we will be celebrating the anniversary, the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Movement. That's right, congratulations. And you win this show. <laughs> You'll be able we to see us. You You'll be able to see us again today. But anyway, back to your That's story. That's a lot. We need donations. That's a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now today, scroll today. down and donate. We'll be talking about that later, but scroll down and donate. But anyway, I was sitting here wondering. Now, you said that it cost $165. 68. Well, 68. 68. You could have called the airline. You probably could have got a ticket cheaper than that. Because the airlines have no, the allies, specials Yeah, now. but they was blowing up. Because keep in mind, this is right after New Year's. Everybody's trying to leave New York because all the people don't went. So the tickets was... True. But see, you gotta they call was, the people that, that see, you gotta high. call people that you know. You gotta get on Facebook and stuff and say, "Listen, this is Pampers," because they don't know nothing about no damn Jason. There's too many Jasons in the world. But if you get on Facebook and say, "This is Pampers. I'm in New York. Who works for the airline? I need to get back home so I can go to the show." ATL Girl Talk at FMDigitalLive.com. Boom. They gonna love my life. Hold on, they're all the people I, that work. Go. People that sit around. Boom. They gonna love my life. They're all the people that work for Delta. All the people that work for Southwest. All the people that work for America. Cause all the people that work for Continental Airlines, I got you, Pampers. I got you, Pampers. You gonna have so many offers. You gonna say, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Well, wait a minute. Child, you could have been now, here. Now, now you finna make me jump on you, cause your <laughs> your bitch ass knew what I was going through. You ain't. You ain't called nobody told trying to get me no help or nothing. That's cause I was trying to get this car note. <laughs> oh. But uh, look, the person with no car getting the car note. I explained to y'all. I explained it later. And when she explained, I'ma tell y'all, cause you know we family, and I tell y'all everything. <laughs> So I, I take the 19, the 19 and a half hour bus. I said, I'm going to get on that. Okay. Can't KMD that said you were stunned. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> that was the longest bus ride ever. And then Jack and Warren say, uh, you had that long bus ride and then your companion pass didn't kick in to uh, such, such, such. That means that you have a, you are ways down on the seniority list. No, no, let me, find, let me tell you what I found out. For... The companion pass pushed off because it was supposed to kick in on the first and the person who companion pass I was on was on the leave of absence because they had a definite family. So <laughs> I didn't know that they don't do it until you come back off your leave of absence. But so wait, oh. wait, now, you have just confirmed. <laughs> Now what? <laughs> I'm not laughing because they had a death in their family. Well, I know you ain't laughing because I was stuck. Family. I hope you ain't. But wait, I'm laughing because if that ain't the nigga shit, I'd have never heard. You can't use your shit because the person who, you know, companion pass you all, they'd have had a death in the family. So that if I would think, well, that of all times you need to use your companion pass and shit, you probably try to get to the funeral of well, your friend. Well, if it was already working, it, it'll do it. But this, it wasn't supposed to start date. It, the start date of it was supposed to be. It don't matter. Leave. It mm. don't matter. They know how they can go through there and just do whatever they have to do and kicking it in and all that stuff. They can go through the system. That's just like somebody's off today. All you gotta do, let me speak to the manager. The manager know the code and all that. Okay, yeah, I got you, boo. I got you, What's sister. That? Here's your new confirmation number. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, enjoy your flight. Now, now, I, did, I thought that airline was out of business. I didn't know that they were still in business, but I appreciate you for letting me know so I won't get caught up in that bullshit. But what I thought, think it is? so plain. <laughs> <laughs> you got to compare your pants on so plain. <laughs> Oh Listen. my God! But anyway, we are so happy to have you back. Love my life, say LOL. You should have called her, child. Stop playing, love my life. You should have called her. Well, when, when we when we get off air, stay on the chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna send my number. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you, this, that 19 hours end up turning into what? Child, hold on. Y'all stay in the chat room here. I can see you. I can put this number on here right now. <laughs> uh, if you put my number on there, you don't even want to know the repercussions. <laughs> oh, but anyway, 
we gotta talk. You know, you know her back when I was talking about all the couples when we first got back on the first day. Monday when I got back and I was talking about all the couples, you know, got engaged and all that stuff and all the ones that, you know, were getting back together, Rihanna, Chris Brown, and all oh, these Nene and uh Greg and Kanye and Kim and Janet and the whole man and Brandon and Brandon whole man got engaged. Herb, you did not and nobody in the chat room, you all did not tell me, y'all did not remind me about one of the biggest weddings that we are getting running for in the world that took place, the engagement took place over what, the holidays. What, which one was that? Child, the creator of Star Wars, George Lucas. You know, his long-time girlfriend, little old black girl, oh, yeah, he Kamala married. Woman, married. Yeah. They not married. Yeah, okay, they yeah, just been dating. They've been, they been, like, dating for, like, forever. seven years. Yeah. Yeah, he proposed to her. They get ready to get married. You know, what's her name? Melody Hobson. Melody Hobson. Melody Mel Mel came up like a fat cat. No, Melanie, she's already, she was the CEO of some companies. Oh, so okay. she already was laying it to cheese. She ain't Yeah, but no she money. wasn't laying in no Star Wars money. No, she wasn't, honey. She laid. <laughs> she now she Rihanna. I'm sorry, you cute, but Melanie is really laid up and shining like a diamond. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nene Leaks, I'm sorry, you came in the house in the housewife on that show with that dress made out of dollar bills. Talking about you rich bitch. Nah, bitch, we counted them dollars on that dress. That wasn't but seven hundred and three dollars. <laughs> but anyway, she, she got a big old is ass rich, bitch. $3. She is rich. Yes, she is, Melanie Lucas. But anyway, how about RG three? You see. The football game the other day. No, I was on the bus, nigga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Asked me no shit like that. I was on the bus. You know, RG, R3, RG3, RG3, you know, he has to have major knee surgery. And everybody is upset with the coach, and they're trying to see if there's going to be some repercussions because they're saying that the coach should have pulled him out of that game. And they're saying that RG3 is going to be in recovery for at least eight months. For how long? Eight months. That's a long time. That's a long time for your number one quarterback. Yeah, that's Eight a long months time. and then that's they not he trying was... to keep you to, to fuck you up real good in the game. <laughs> but anyway, we gotta keep RG three in our prayers. <laughs> also we gotta keep uh Reba Jackson. You know Reba? Reba Jackson. God bless her. Yes, what? you know her husband passed over the weekend. Yes, oh, her husband her. passed. You know, they've been married for some, quite some time. She the only Jackson that really you don't hear nothing about it. She trying to be no celebrity. She just trying to be regular. Now she did you know, try. Everybody else, but she can only do so much after that hit, at the centipede. Yeah, after that, honey, she wasn't trying. She just said, I'm going to let y'all have this. I'm just going to enjoy the rest of y'all change. Yeah, can you pull up centipede, Herb? <laughs> I want the folks to hit centipede. I know they remember centipede. But that was a hit. She has three adult children, and, you know, we're keeping her in our prayers. God bless her. Kanye West. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, baby. They have purchased an $11 million mansion. A what? An $11 million mansion in Bel Air, baby. Bel Air. They done purchased an $11 million mansion, but that ain't the kiki. The kiki is they done paid $11 million for this mansion. Well, they haven't, they haven't uh, signed yet. Okay. They haven't signed the contract, so it, they are going to purchase it. And it's fully furnished. Already? $11 million mansion, fully furnished. I don't want to say nobody else. But shit. guess what the next line says? They're going to have it renovated. <laughs> <laughs> you pay $11 million for a mansion that's fully ma that's fully uh, furnished, and you're going to have it renovated? They finna have it renovated? Oh, no, honey. That's a done deal. That's okay. it, baby. We finna have no renovation work done. That is a done deal. No renovation. We stand in this like this. Gonna put a little Febreze on this furniture. <laughs> lights off. Lights off. the lights off. This is it, boo. This is it. But anyway, congratulations to everybody. Look at it. It keep, looks oh, good. You, did, you, did you tell her to keep Naomi Campbell in the prayer as your twin? No, Naomi. They say she got robbed. She got mugged. She got mugged. She, she had a wheelchair. But back to Kim and Kanye, you know, everybody's talking about Kim and Kanye and Kim is married and everything and her and Kanye should have been doing all that and then it brought up Fantasia. You know, that's what get me. When somebody else's situation come up, y'all always go back to digging. You know, that's the same thing such, such, such did. That's the same, same, such, such, such did. Uh -huh. Just like, you know, Ray Lewis, when they bring up Ray Lewis, talking about Ray Lewis retiring and shit. Ray Lewis, he on trial for murder in Atlanta. Then they go on to talk about OJ. What OJ did to the car. Child, that ain't got nothing to do with that, honey. Just stick to to the subject at hand, like I was doing. See, I was talking about Kim and Kanye and Fantasia. I'm all on Ray Lewis and, and, and wait, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. 
Listen. What? I just and it and you know, I apologize. Oh okay. it's my fault. What? Because I came in and I'm just not really taking a look at you. Yes. And I'm I'm not even I ain't even acknowledge your nice pretty blouse, your new your new garments you got on. <laughs> I'm used to seeing you in that same old bullshit. Did I look over just now and I realized she was wrapped up in the blanket. <laughs> This is stand up and let the folks see your dress. This is not a blanket, honey. This is I just one of really my, stand up. one of my little outfits, Michael Vick Bobby for Christmas. Look at that. No, don't pull it down. <laughs> your coochie gonna catch a cold. That's so sharp. <laughs> oh, no, this, this is a sweater dress. And do you have breasts? Yes. What is going on? Our women have breasts, oh, it's, now, honey. It's if you shit mess going with a woman that don't have no breasts, you mess with a woman that don't have no breasts, you better check your woman. There's some shit going on in the new year. <laughs> so Phil has come back in a quilt and a nice little quilt dress. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell it's got a little flower on it and everything. <laughs> Look, now the killing part about it. Look, hear him over there laughing. Hear him over there laughing. Because when I was getting dressed, I said, I came and sat down. <laughs> Excuse me, I said, Herb, I think I had this on backwards. <laughs> and Herb was talking about, you know, I wouldn't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> Herb, Herb. So then, Sophia wouldn't know either. Look, Sophia would know but either. Wait, then I had leaned back. <laughs> And I said, oh, there it is. My breast's so big, honey, I couldn't see my flower. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I thought I had. Look at I that. I had it on backwards, yes, but yes. That you came like, Is that one of them Kooja sweater dresses? Oh, no, this is not no Kooja. <laughs> you from the project. See all the fish in the projects and all the girls in the project. Oh, no. Kooja sweater this dresses. Is that no Kooja, guys? Oh, yeah, that's a Kooja sweater dress. Oh, no, you dress. can't look at this label. Oh, Michael no, no, Big Bob, this, this, this is my Christmas. It's my Christmas present from Hold one on. of my Christmas presents from my boo. Ooh, boot. this Gucci. Huh. <laughs> Hold on, huh. wait. Hold on, wait. No, I didn't see that. That's <laughs> you over here wearing a coochie dress? No, this is Gucci that's on coochie. my coochie. Oh. Gucci that's covering up my coochie. Oh. See, look. No, dude. put your dress down. I can smell your nuts. <laughs> put your dress down. I can smell your nuts. <laughs> Ooh, peanuts and chocolate. But anyway, <laughs> want to have some good time. Want to have a good time today, they heard. You know, tomorrow the Oscar nominations come out. The, the Oscar nominations uh -huh. come out tomorrow. Now, a lot of people are talking about the Django. 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 The Django. The Django. Django. The Django. Now, this is for my people. Some of my people in the, in the uh, chat room, man. I got the Django. Because if you don't pronounce that D, they not going to see it. <laughs> you retarded. You said your, your folks, said, that guy, you got to drop the D on them? Yeah, got to put that D on them. Not the ones that are here now, but it's some all that's going to watch it later on. You know, go back and watch <laughs> the archive. D Django. <laughs> yeah. With Kerry Washington, and Jamie Foxx, and Samuel Jackson. Yeah. Now, you know, I bet they're going to be nominated for some awards tomorrow. That's the sad some thing. Oscars. Because it's so much controversy Sam going on Jackson about is. the movie. And the people, you know, every time we we involved in something that's controversial, it always get an Oscar nomination. Remember when Holly Berry was nominated? Uh -huh. Holly Berry was nominated, and the movie, you know, uh, she got, you know, they got a little trouble about that because they was it was very controversial because they're talking about, you know, why she got to be playing that character, you know, she a slut and da 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 da. A lot of people didn't like, you know, the black woman being uh, uh, depicted in that kind of uh, role, and then she's gonna be nominated for an Oscar, so that means that we're gonna be remembering this, you know, years to come. You know, people look down in the history of the Oscar and they say, oh, Holly Berry won, what's she wearing for? And then you scroll oh, down. All our all our black roles. Yeah, Monique, she was impressed. All that cussing and whooping and staying ass. She the one to ask them. Yeah. It's controversial. You know, Denzel Monique would go on tour, you know, promote the movie. She wanted them to pay her, pay for her entourage to go on. All that. And they're like, no, nah, you know, you signed a contract. That was part of the promotion, you know, mm -hmm. going on. That's part of your, you know, contract obligation, you know, to go and promote the movie, you know, da da da. So then Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, he'd been nominated for all these different roles. And now yeah, all of a sudden. Training day, showing the black man in the cop. negative light. He he win. All the good roles Whoopi did. Whoopi win for that ghost piece of <laughs> little piece of taste. Little taste. That wasn't even a full meal. That was a little taste of a role <laughs> in ghost. Mm, but anyway, yeah, son. And, oh, oh. Honey Boo Boo said Meryl Streep is gonna win. Uh, Meryl Streep gonna win for best actress. But you know we'll have to see. They saying Lincoln gonna lead the nominations yeah, tomorrow. The I'm film sure. Lincoln. Also, uh, but I'm sure they're going to get Django's going to get some nominations. Oh, yeah, so sure. the Oscar nominations, they come get, out that's, tomorrow. That's going to be how Sam Jackson wins his Oscar, playing oh, really? a negative black man. 
set up the slay and the slave, you know, that slay role and that negative role he played in Django. That's how he gonna win his Oscar. All the good roles Sam Jackson got. He screamed at snakes on the motherfucking plane and he done played and <laughs> do the right thing. He done play, you know, he was the he the robber and 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 uh coming to America. He done did everything. This nigga finna win for playing the uh I race slave. And he this. won for busting Holly Berry in the ear. Wasn't that him? Or that was Wesley Snipes. That's when I'm bust her in the ear. Messed up her hearing. That's why she ran away from niggas. She don't do nigga husbands no more. Oh, <laughs> she don't do nigga God. boyfriend. Yeah, One of them got a hold to and bust her in the ear, honey. Oh, yes. Jack One said, you right, Pampers. Mm. What you have to say about V103 and Ski? What I have to say about V103 and Ski? Who's that? Ribs 40. Ask that question. What I have to say about V103 and Ski is Congratulations, and I wish Frank Ski uh, well on his future endeavors. That's the speech that gave everybody else, so that's the same speech I'm going to give him. Hello. What I really have to say is coming on a video on YouTube real soon. Heard whenever you're ready. <laughs> Herb, gotta, I got to get my schedule right where Herb is available so he can record it, because I'm going to be on location doing this one. I'm going over to Ski's restaurant. Oh my God. <laughs> but the food out here is absolutely. Mm. They're going to run your black ass out of there. Oh no, honey. I'm, they will probably run me in there. From what I hear, they need somebody to fill them seats. They need some seat fillers right about now. <laughs> but anyway, I got to talk about my girlfriend, the Georgia Lottery. You know, the Georgia Lottery, they be playing, mm -hmm. trying everybody, you know, when. Money is low, you get 50 cents, run to the store, play your birthday, or play your address, or something. <laughs> Trying to get lucky. Hopefully, this is your day today, because that's what the Georgia Lottery say. Today, today could be the be day. day. Now, what they didn't do, they didn't say, I think this is a complete sentence. Uh -huh. Today could be the day that we make a fool out of you. <laughs> 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 but, baby, you know I was saying with my girlfriend, Donna Gates. <laughs> oh, love me some Donna Gates. <laughs> Man, I love Donna Gates. Now, the thing about Donna Gates is she'll have a conversation, and she is so funny. Wait. And whenever... Can you who Donna is? You know, they, whenever, know, do they know who Donna is, for real? We can explain who Donna is, but hold on. But whatever the conversation is, when you have a... Now, you just need... If you're around Donna Gates, you have a recorder, you just need to turn it on and leave it on Definitely. while she's in your presence. Because that's what I do when I give her a ride home. Before she gets in the car, I automatically turn my uh, recorder on on my phone and set it in the cup holder. But anyway, it's not to them who Donna Gates Donna is. Donna Gates <laughs> is at least <laughs> 75. <laughs> she is not no 75. <laughs> she walk around, she got these glasses this. Let me see see how thick this is. Can y'all see on camera? That's how thick her glasses is. They look like two check cashing windows on her face. <laughs> she can't see her hand in front of her. She's blind. She's legally blind. And she is a stripper. <sighs> and I don't want y'all to think I'm bullshitting you. She is an elderly stripper. <laughs> God bless her. She's going to be mad if she see this. Well, she ain't going to see this if she hit this. Donna Gates still stripping all the strip clubs in Atlanta. She stripping strokers for those y'all know who that is. She go do the. M She's been stripping Hold for at on. least. She don't call it strokers. Scrokers. It's scrokers. She don't pronounce no T's and nothing. She has been doing. She still do amateur nights, which I don't get, cause she been stripping long as I've been going out to clubs, which has been about eleven years. My first. She the first stripper I ever saw. This this dead serious. Donna Gates and she has got an ass that's big like the sun. <laughs> And Donna Gates would do handstands and kicks her own booty cheeks to make her booty jiggle. She, her, she, she got this thing she do. She drop her, take a bra off and drop her titties down and she make her titties clap like this. But she pushed the, she pushed them together with her hands. That's so what I say. Yes, let's hear. She keeps playing Jack and one stage. She keeps it real, honey. Okay. Yes, she does. Now, this is a, we were sitting in the back of the, in the dressing room and she was talking about dreams. You mm -hmm. know, she was talking about her dreams. She had been having some dreams lately. So then the dreams conversation led into the lottery. <laughs> so I just want to share with you all a few minutes of me and Donna Gates. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she talking about her dream. Oh, because when I called him as a child in the car, then it was some guy, I thought he didn't know her, but he knew this girl. Then he pointed a gun at me, and then he handcuffed my damn uh, legs with some handcuffs. 
What? That scared the shit out of me. Then when I tried to go back to sleep again, during that I was climbing a, uh, you know how you try to climb a hill? Uh-huh. Climb a hill, and somebody helped me climb the hill. Then I got down the hill, then left from the area and got lost. Oh. Got lost and... And then white one was in the dream. And somebody was trying to make her have a baby or some shit. I woke up like that. So that's when you make that you don't do your numbers tell you have a dream? That's what numbers you decide to play when you play sometime the lottery. I might play it, I might not. A lot of time I just look up the meaning of the dream to see what it's trying to tell. And a lot of time I can't tell what it means until it happens. Sometimes stuff happens, sometimes it don't. Hmm. And I can, you know. I don't know anybody that can interpret dreams, so. So I know you say Margaret D. Francisco, the lady, the George Lotta lady. You say she the damn honey. She the fucking witch. <laughs> that damn witch, I can't stand. Come <laughs> with that old damn bad ass number. <laughs> when I do have some to play some shit, I don't, I don't get nothing. And then when I ain't thinking about a normal. Bitch, come up with all kinds of numbers. I came up with a fucking house number, my telephone number, mama's damn house number, mama's telephone number. Mm. Bitch, be coming up with all kinds of damn bullshit. But <laughs> well, you don't play. Uh-uh. Then she came up with triple zeros one time. Yeah, that was recently, honey. Yeah. Then in cash four, it had a bunch of zeros and another damn number. Mm. This bitch come up with this crazy ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sit down. <laughs> These people gonna keep on. They gonna get tired of playing, and the lottery ain't gonna have no damn money. Mm. They gonna get tired of losing. And the one that usually left to win every now and then, that damn oh. Uh, She's gone down to the damn um, Tennessee. Yeah. Tennessee or Florida, she's gone. Rebecca, she used to let you win every now and then. But this damn Margaret, she ain't never the crook. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I swear. And then they'll set up and, and cut the money. You catch hell now getting Georgia library money. They'll change all the requirements and everything. What? Yeah. The middle class people get the money. The poor, poor niggas don't get that money. <laughs> they figure people, too many people getting good grades, so they'll start toughening up the requirements. And then they don't got that rattlesnake deal in there. Mm. He, he a Republican. Oh, the governor. Yeah, that damn son of a bitch. <laughs> he ain't worth a damn me. <laughs> damn bastard. <laughs> You're like none of them, huh? Hell no. I see. What? Ain't uh, nothing happening. Let me get $20. Why she said she can take a bet? Let me get $20. Where you going? Hey, I'm going to my baby. Bring that. Bring that on back. <laughs> I was trying to get the $20 from Mika, and she acted funny. Let's see if she bring it back. She ain't going to bring it back. Don't even look for it. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, that might. <laughs> now, the gang is crazy wrong, <laughs> Now, see, that's what I be talking about. That's the problem that I have with all these reality shows, because they be editing and shit. Don't edit nothing. If you don't have a 30 minutes, play the first 30 minutes. Then we'll have the next 30 minutes next week. Don't edit it. See, I don't edit my daughter Gates back. <laughs> she keeps it real, baby. She gets to cussing and talking, and baby, I'm telling y'all, I think I'm going to have to just start playing a video of her. Because I'm telling you, she get in my car. A lot of times I don't have a camera on her. Because like I say, I just put the recorder on and I record her while I'm dropping her off. Or I take her, drop her off and stuff. And baby, some of the conversations that we have had. I remember one time we had a conversation. And we was getting ready to go to, to uh, the Frank and Wanda Morning Show. We was getting ready to go to China. <laughs>
No, no, but I was telling her we were getting ready to go to China. Oh, you be careful over there in China. I said, you want to go to China? You don't want to go to China? Hell no. I ain't going nowhere. They don't speak no motherfucking English. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what's this? You be careful over there. Because I fuck around, get over there, and I'm trying to ask somebody directions and shit, and they leave me thinking I'm being funny and stuff. They're like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. Because in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to go to some class. I'm going to have to take some classes so I can study the language. Serious as a bed bug, honey. She don't play, honey. But my sister is funny, baby. I'm telling y'all, I got some... I got some, some stuff for my sister, honey. They they can't hold a candle to Donald Gates when it Donald comes Gates. to comedy, honey. You can't hold a candle to her, baby. Donald but Gates. anyway, uh, we got to get out of here. But before we get out of here, I just want to let everybody know that, you know, I told y'all Lala and uh, Carmelo Anthony, they done split up. They been, they're going to divorce court and all that stuff. But it hasn't been confirmed. But a lot of people saying that, you know, they've been separated because she celebrated the New Year in Miami. He celebrated the New Year in New York. And they said that they've been separated for quite some time now. And she done moved on and she's seeing other people and she has his blessing. But they got to wait. Y'all can yeah, come on now. The divorce has to be final. They know, you know, she, he give her his blessing. The divorce has to be final for you. You can move on. So until the divorce is final, you make sure you stop by your local drugstore and pick up some of these. <laughs> Pick up some of these, honey. Everybody, look like, what the? These some condoms. Y'all don't know nothing about condoms no more, honey. Everybody just out there, honey, and, and try what they call it. All that dry fuck, <laughs> <laughs> dry and raw. Y'all cut all that out. Cut all that out. But anyway, Kevin Garnett. You know they played Kevin Garnett. You know the other night. And they say Kerry Garnett told uh, Carmelo Anthony, you know how they be taunting the players and stuff during the game, trying to throw them off their games. Well, they say that Kerry Garnett told Carmelo Anthony, your wife tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Baby, Carmelo Anthony was so heated. They say he went outside after the game, and he stood by the bus, you the know, because the player's bus being the talk. He stood by the bus, and he waited on Kevin Garnett because he said that he wanted to have a talk to him man to man. Ugh. Baby, I wish I could have been out there to hear that conversation. But can you imagine him standing outside the bus, the team bus, he's standing outside waiting on the man so he could settle the score. He didn't want that, he didn't want that, that fight with, with mm-hmm. uh, But KG. Carmelo Anthony had told him, oh, my God! He told him what? Oh my God, I'm away from you by the bus. Put the camera on me, her. her. Put the camera on me. Come on, Anthony. <laughs> Kevin Garnett had put some salt in the game. <laughs> but Carmelo Anthony told him, nigga, I'll treat you like a butterfinger. Don't do that. Talk to me that way. Don't do that. Do not do that. Herb, you want wine? I got to get out of here, but before I get out of here, you know, you know, because her be texting me while I'm on my way to work and stuff, and you know, you're not supposed to be texting and driving. Uh, good thing about it is I didn't sign Oprah Winfrey's uh, <laughs> no text driving pledge, so. No texting. No texting. No, no texting text pledge. But, uh, you know, uh, we were at the club. You know how I am here. I love songs. I love singing. I love just making up music, making up songs. Honey, I get somebody else's song, you know, Anita Baker, Same Old Love or whatever. But I'm going to put my own words to it because nine times out of ten, I don't know all the words she sings. So I make my own. I put my own words to it. You know what I'm saying? Ten times out of ten, you don't know them words. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know Same Old Love. I know the hook. <laughs> but anyway, I was at the club. We were at the club the other Monday, mm-hmm. me and my co MC Joe Jackson, and we came Michael up with Daddy? this song. No, not Joe Jackson. Mike and them daddy. Oh, no, shit. not him. Because he be at the kiosk, so I said he leave the kiosk to come to the, to the <laughs> No, this is another them. Joe Jackson. Huh? Oh. This is another Joe Jackson. But anyway, we came up with a song, and it was called No Texting. No Texting. No Texting. Now, we just having a little fun, but honey, I couldn't even get to the house good. People were already calling me, talking about LOL. You are out of control. Baby, the song has took off like wildfire. Her, yeah. Now, we're going to have to get this song, you and I. And I believe because the no texting is so relevant, I think we can make this a hit, Herb. Uh-huh. Okay. 
We're going to have to do something with this and put it on YouTube. Hello, because I need for this to go viral. I need it to be uh, how many times they viewed Gangnam Style? Like over a hundred million, a trillion. I think he a trillion, a billion. But well, I need, I need to, I need, I need to offset that record. Mm. Yeah, I need. We need to come on, get together, her, you and I. We need to get together and come on, do this right, so we can set it off right. No texting. So this for all of you, including me, texting and driving. I'm not texting and driving no more. Uh huh. I'm going to pull over. I'm going to pull over and I'm going to uh, pull over to the side and text. Yes. But, but uh, so Herb, don't be texting me when you know I'm driving. And I'm going to also get that app put on my phone where when my when I'm in a moving vehicle, it won't it won't let me text. But that's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. If you if you're not the driver, how can the, the uh, device tell if you're not the driver? If I'm sitting in the back seat, I should be able to text. <laughs> so how is the uh, hmm. the thing gonna know that I'm not the driver? I'm just in a moving vehicle. I just delete the app. You can text whenever you want. <laughs> there you go. Going to your song. <laughs> but anyway, here's my song. Oh, no texting. No texting. No texting. I told y'all last week. No texting. About these damn cell phones. No texting. Show. Don't be disrespectful no to the damn thing. Put them damn phones up. No texting. Up. Put them damn phones no up. No texting. I told you last week. No week. texting. Now put it up right no now. No texting. You heard what I just said. No texting. And you do the same. No texting. Anybody else? No texting. No texting. No texting. No tweeting. Now you can make the phone call and you can use your Twitter, but no texting. No texting. No texting. No, no texting. No texting. No, no text. No text. All right. Now you can text the phone call and you can check the Twitter. No text. All right. No text. Okay. You can make the phone call and you can check the Twitter. You can even look at your email if you will. No text. All right. No text. Okay. No Oh, no. Oh, yeah. 